What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to this four going. Today, I want to talk about the cards that are in the rerun banner. Give you guys here my thoughts on whether or not you really should pull for any of those cards, especially if you already have some of them. And I also want to touch on the fact that the Ages Challenge actually did reset the rewards. Now, this is actually really, really amazing for a lot of players because even on my free to play account, guys, uh, I probably will be able to get the extra generic memory because. All of, the, all of these things add up. And yes, it's a one-time reward, but all of these points add up one time. And on my free-to-play account, I'm already sitting pretty much where my account's sitting on my main account, right here near that 12,000 mark to get that extraordinary memory. And I feel like a lot of other players are probably going to be in the same situation. So the fact that... Ages Challenge Reset does give hope and gives a lot of players the chance to hopefully at least get this EX Generic Memory, if not get all the other rewards in it. So I'm really happy to see that they did reset that thing after one week. That's actually really, really good. So let's touch on the cards in the rerun banner. So what cards should you be rerunning in this banner if you're going to rerun for any of them obviously guys if you're looking for a certain 3pg that's always good if you have lung this 3pg would be absolutely amazing because it does give critical damage to all of your teammates for 10 seconds after she used it it's a really good 3pg now the athena set here this is a very very good set and it works on any ex fighter in the game it's not going to be the best but it does work really really well if you don't have any other sets then this would be a really good set to have, especially can you because you can select it for the chance up to increase your chances to try to hopefully get the card. However, we do have the Ruby login bonus, which means that we're going to be getting new fighters within the next week. So you always might want to consider saving your rubies for the next upcoming characters. But the Athena set is a good set. The Hodoru set, this is honestly a really good set as far as support goes, right? Especially for female fighters increasing the critical damage now the critical damage works on female or male whenever you tag out so that's actually nice and 10 percent don't sound like much but it's honestly really really good people still use it to this day for their support buffs this set is pretty freaking op guys especially for attack type fighters that have burn damage but even if they don't have burn i've shown this in multiple videos even if they don't have burn and you apply a striker like kusanagi who's one of the best strikers you can use especially in guild raid if you apply that burn from a striker and then you use an attack type fighter while burn is being applied to the opponent that they're facing they're going to get all of these buffs they're going to get that critical rate by 12 percent when attack type fighter lands the skill you don't even need to apply burn to get that 12%, you don't need to, you'll get the critical damage also, but you'll also get the increased attack by 30%, that stacks up to 120%, as long as the opponent that you're attacking is burned. So if you use a striker, like either for your damage dealer or for the character before you switch to your damage dealer, you apply that burn, you're going to get these buffs. This is a very, very OP set, especially for attack type fighters. And this card is very very op guys like especially for characters that don't have like they can't max out their critical rate this is an amazing card for them man 12 percent plus another five percent that's 17 percent critical rate which means that you're pretty much going to be landing critical hits over and over and over especially with characters that do tons of hits it's a very op option card so if i had to rate from best to worst i'd probably rate this card set actually being the best granted it's specifically only for attack type fighters but it's just a super super strong set to have however the athena set is just an all-around good set for all the care ex characters in the game and obviously if you're looking for to get a 3pg it's always good i mean leona's 3pg does give her critical rate however if you have the ss version there's really no need to have it but it is nice for those extra buffs hodoru's is like uh lungs where it just gives you the increase of all teammates including self by 50 percent and decrease all enemies defense by 50 percent this is an op 3pg but really lung lung and Hodoru's 3pg are very very difficult to use because the way that you have to use it is you have to be able to have your 3pg available whenever you drop in your character to be able to use this 3pg so it can be difficult to use them but it still is possible and athena's 3pg is nice for her guys the increased critical damage by 30 percent for 10 seconds is nice but it would have been better if it had been for all like characters on the team this is only for herself and she really isn't known as a damage dealer so if you just had the ss version of athena's 3pg i think that you'd be more than happy with it it's still a good 3pg but i think you'd still be more than happy with it because people are still going to use athena 
as a support more than a damage dealer so i just wanted to touch on this guys give you my thoughts uh on the cards and also really you know show some appreciation for the fact that they did reset the ages challenge it is nice that they did that because it will help a lot of players out there be able to get that ES generic memory from the carnivals. So guys, let me know how you're all doing in the game. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.